Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with a thrift haul video. This is a cumulative thrift haul from three different trips in my area in Middle Tennessee where I'm a full-time reseller and one of these was a Goodwill, one of them was like a little mom and pop kind of thrift store which I just did today and I don't even remember what I purchased, I kind of was in and out and then another is just a local thrift store um, where I went last week. So all of these items except the things that I purchased today have been listed in my Poshmark closet, which is listed below. And actually one thing has already sold, um, which was this Old Navy leather brown tooled kind of belt. Um, it was a size large. And when I go, my cost of goods um, at one of these thrift stores is about $4.20 uh, per item. This brought down my average cost of goods by purchasing this belt, which was $1.99. It only sold for $9, but it had been listed for like 18 minutes or something. Um, so I was happy to do that and just get it off my plate. I kind of just bought it as something to put in my closet, which I like getting belts because they're easy to photograph. So um, we're going to go ahead and go through this. Most of these items are from that one thrift store. A few are from Goodwill when I popped in there. And then I'll show you the other items I just got today last. First up is this UMG size large, kind of gauzy tunic top. It's this taupe color with some bell sleeves and some kind of crochet lace detail. And it's a little bit of a high-low with this ruffle at the bottom. I don't do great selling UMG. Sometimes I buy it for myself. <laughs> um, and then if it doesn't sell, I wear it but this is just really cute it's got a nice boho flair to it um and i will pick certain things up in bigger sizes a lot of umg stuff is dry clean only which is i don't believe in dry cleaning much so um but it's a cotton blend so i'm not sure why you couldn't at least hand wash it next up is this torrid size 3 which is a 3x long line open front cardigan with these are all like half sleeve um, it's navy, kind of this navy space dye, peach, cream, and then this magenta at the top. It's just a longer line. It is a, I think, cotton blend. Nope, I lied. It feels like cotton. It's a rayon acrylic blend. And it was an older cut, but in really good condition. Um, and so I think that will be great for someone in the spring. Someone made me an offer right away on it, but like for $9 and I had just listed it. So I wasn't willing to, I negotiated with my best price, which is what I happily commented for her. Um, next up is free people size small. It's this kind of military moto jacket. And this is like a brown purpley gray color. <laughs> um, and it has this floral, I don't know, lace, kind of like a tapestry almost sleeve the one thing it was missing is the drawstring in the neck but it's not like it has a hood so i don't think it really detracts from it um this was 97 percent cotton or something like that so and it button front i it was cute price was right next up is chico's i do not shy away from mall brands or like chico's talbot's loft um as long as i like the piece and it's a, in a good size this is the black label by chico's which i've never purchased this is a size three, I believe. The tag on the top was out. Yeah, it's a three, so that's an extra large. It's 100% linen, sleeveless top with this sort of chevron print with these navy blue, blue stripes. But then it goes down into this pointed hemline at the top or at the bottom. It's really pretty, honestly, it's hard to photograph, but the um, stock photos of it were super cute. And I just think that's a kind of a different piece for springtime and summer. Got a little bit of flare on the bottom. Next up is MG again, size large. This is more of a, maybe a fall color, but I think it'll fly for spring. Um, it has these larger bell sleeves, some ruffle detail, at the neckline and then it buttons it a little bit in the front and this is sort of just a tunic length as well 
I don't know this brand. I bought this on style. This <laughs> could be an Amazon brand for all I know. It's Fantasia, size small. It's 100% linen. And it, I don't know, it just has some lag and look vibes to it for me. It has this tab sleeve with these wooden buttons, um, wooden buttons in the front, this kind of lace detail along the torso area, and then these slip pockets in the front, and this collar. It just had that lag and look kind of vibe going for it. I don't find, some people find a lot of bodysuits. Maybe people in Tennessee don't wear bodysuits. I'm not sure. Other resellers seem to find them often. Um, this is AFRM. I guess it's maybe a firm size extra large. And it's this floral, nice blue floral deep V short sleeve. It's got a little bit of a puff sleeve to it. Bodysuit. It's a thong back bodysuit. Um, you know, these did not resell for a whole bunch, but it was nice to put a bodysuit in my closet. So the thing about this thrift store is that they will mark up things. I've talked about it in previous videos, like Talbot's from 20, you know, 19 or something new with tags and maybe it retailed for $79, but it's in a thrift store and they'll try to mark it at like 45. So you kind of laugh going through some of the aisles, but some things they don't mark up. Um, I went in last week and they had shorts out and about, which was great because spring will be here before we know it. But every single pair of shorts was like $6.49. I don't sell a ton of shorts. It's not my best selling item. I realize that is a lot of money um, for a smaller return. You're only talking about a little bit of fabric compared to like a dress or pants. So the irony is that their dresses are marked at like, under six dollars typically whereas my goodwill marks dresses at 7.99 um and a lot of things in this store that day were either 30 percent off or 50 percent off so um i grabbed a lot of those items so i got it was four dollars and 38 cents or something per item um so i did source a lot in the dresses which i don't normally source a ton in because i feel like i don't get as much of a return um if i shop solely at goodwill so this is land's end it's a uh, extra large tall so lands end does um this is an 18 which is how their price or prices sizes go it's not an 18w though so i always make sure that people know that when i put it in there because this is an extra large and i would wear this but i'm not an 18w um if i keep eating girl scout cookies well on my way but um I'm trying to stop that process. So anyway, this is a like surplus wrap top sleeveless, this purple and white paisley. It's um mid knee length and Land's End things are really high quality. Um, I feel like, and this is Pima cotton, 58% Pima cotton and 38% uh, modal blend. So it's in really good condition. It's a nice larger size and it's in a tall, which is a nice um, thing to have in my closet. Next up is this um, dress and they actually, I per picked this dress up, threw it in my cart, kept going down the rack and I saw what looked like the liner to this dress, which they had marked as a separate dress. So when I checked out, I just politely said, hey, you know, this dress does go <laughs> with this liner and they, Oh yeah, they got it marked down for me. Um, I don't pick up this brand a ton. It's Nanette Lapour, but this is a size 18W. It is the sweetest dress. It's got this pin tuck pleated front and this, I guess, peacock kind of green um, with this floral print. This has short sleeves, like a flutter sleeve. I saw the same print dress in um, some of the smaller sizes that did not have sleeves which I thought was interesting. So maybe they felt like someone who had a larger size would prefer more coverage on their arms, which I prefer more coverage on my arms, <laughs> not my most flattering feature. Um, and so I kind of liked that look. It's a kind of a shirt dress. It's a midi length. It has the waist tie and then it has the liner that goes underneath and it does tack up in there with the little clips in the shoulders. Um, and it's an adjustable one. So I just thought that was the prettiest dress for spring that somebody was really going to like that. This was probably my favorite find of the day. 
Um, this is Collective uh, and Mod Cloth combo. This is a US 16. It was new with tags. It's the Frida Classic Floral Swing Dress in Navy. It is a super cute cotton dress with a square neckline with this little, what's that stuff called? Rick Rack? <laughs> like crochet detail and floral. And it has a belt with fabric belt, a full, full skirt that's tiered with ruffles. And it's just a real substantial dress. I just think it's adorable. And I'm hoping that that does really well as we come into the, the season. Next up is Mountain Hardware, size medium. And this is a, um, it's the monkey fleece in this neutral color. I, you know, it's not gonna sell for a ton, but they didn't have this marked up. I like the monkey fleeces, they're super soft. This one wasn't matted down or real um, pilled or anything. And it has kind of this tan color with this black color block also with the brown. So went ahead and picked that up. This is likely for myself, but time will tell. Uh, my husband and I go camping and in our camper and I like to keep separate clothes that are solely for camping out there. So I picked this up. It's marmot size large and it's a like a soft shell, super soft shell, bright blue with this neon green yellow color jacket. It's got nice stretch. And um, I think, you know, this one is selling on Amazon still. So I, I picked it up maybe for myself. This is another likely for myself brand. Um, I've picked it up a few times. It's not something I pick up necessarily to resell unless I like the style, but Chargano or Chargano. This is a size 14. It's just a real sweet chambray dress, dark chambray, sleeveless shirt dress, but it has this knotted tie in the front and then it has um, buttons all the way down the front and what's nice is it has this little bit of elastic in the back just to give you a little stretch around the waist um, and it was cotton tensile combo so it had nice fabrics in it and that in the dresses that one was like two dollars and 99 cents or something okay Next up is this another Land's End, 18 tall. Probably the same donor. It's just kind of pont knit, short sleeved, paisley black dress, back zip. It has pockets. They're still stitched shut. This is a heavy, substantial piece. Um, it's knee length. It's just in really, really nice condition. They don't resell for a ton, but I really like Land's End clothing items. I feel like they have, um, they're pretty substantial. Okay, next up is J. Crew Factory, size small. I picked this up because it was new with tags it's for $64.50. It's just a denim jean jacket. Real cute, classic style, staple for everyone's wardrobe. Um, and so I grabbed that because it was new with tags. Next up are going to be items from the Goodwill. This is Vineyard Vines. This is a kid Vineyard Vines. It's a real extremely soft knit. It's called the Shep Shirt Crew. Super soft crew neck Shep Shirt. Flamingo Heather size medium. This retailed for like $59. And it's just a long sleeve, super soft shirt. In the kids department at Goodwill, I think it was $1.99. So that's a good deal. This is Ellen Tracy Linen, which is not necessarily a brand I would always pick up or seek out, but it's 100% linen. It's this size medium, split neck pop over tunic top in this mustard color. And it's got a bit of a high-low hem, but it's just a nice lightweight shirt in a great color. I rarely shop in the kids section, um, but I did pop by there on this day because I hadn't found a lot in the other section. This is just a kid's pair of Levi overalls. 
They've got this blingy sequined Levi's um, spell out on the front pocket. And then it's got kind of a jean cut in the back. It's not a full overall on the back. This is a girl size 12 and it's the girlfriend cut. It's kind of easy, easy wear through the thighs and then kind of a straight cut from there. They show it cuffed or uncuffed in the, the pictures I found of it and I just thought that was cute. Um, not a huge return on that either, but I, just, I like to pick up kids clothes that I think are cute. Next up is this blazer by Lafayette 148, New York. This is a one button blazer. It's a four petite and it's this kind of chevron herringbone, I guess, print um, in a tan and black. This is just, I feel like a classic piece that anyone would need in their wardrobe. Um, but the content on it was great. It is 80, no, 60% wool, 30% silk and 10% cashmere. So, you know, those fabrics are great. If that doesn't sell this season by next fall, I'll probably send it into thread up. I've been experimenting with thread up a little bit. So I thought I would go ahead and do that. I am missing a couple pairs of shoes. It looks like, hmm. Oh, one of them has already sold. Um, I'll pop that up here. So two things have already sold. One of them was this black, these are basic looking flip-flop thong sandals to me, but the brand sounded familiar. It's Tiki's, T-K-E-E-S. And these were like $1.99 in my Goodwill. I picked them up because I had heard of the brand. They do not look of the highest quality, but um, they were in really good condition. And I had those listed for like 24 hours and then they sold for maybe $18. Somebody offered me, so I wasn't giving a shipping discount. I always have to keep that in mind with like, what would my offer be if I gave out a shipping discount and you know 20% off or 15% off and a quick flip. So happy to sell that. Um, I'll have to find the other shoes. I think I forgot to put them in this bag. This is a pair of Crocs. It is a uh, cheetah, leopard, some sort of critter, thong, flip-flop with this dual Croc comfort footbed. They've got a little bit of a wedge to them. These are a size seven and they were in super good condition. I didn't have to clean up anything. Um, on them so happy to bring those home and get those listed next up are this uh, it's a pair of J slides I have one other pair of these listed in my closet that don't get a lot of love they're an espadrille these seem to do a little bit better um, comp wise and these were in literally brand new condition they're a leather upper kind of a Birkenstock vibe with these giant buckles and it's a platform it's this tan colored leather shoe sandal with this white lug bottom and they are a size nine if I haven't said that. These are heavy, heavy shoes. They, you'll need to, you'll get a workout wearing those. All right, next up is a pair of Lucky Brand sandals. It's just this cork wedge with this ankle strap with hook and loop closure. It's got some stud detail. These were in really good condition. They are an eight and a half, I think. Yeah, an eight and a half. This leather up here is has a few marks. This is not the highest quality leather, um, but it's it's in really good condition. There's just a few little scuffs on it. So these are really cute. Okay, I'm back with the rest of these shoes I had to go hunt up. And I actually paused because we have been getting an extreme amount of rain over the last two days. And it started pouring, so it was so loud up here where my office is that I think that would have been all you could hear. Um, next up is a pair of Fit Flops. These are in sort of a bronze, croc embossed color. They have these beaded detail on the thong. Um, I have sold one other pair of these before. I've come across them a couple times. They seem to sell pretty well, but the other pair I got, I think was in a Thread Up Rescue box. They were bright yellow, so maybe not everyone's cup of tea. Um, these are a seven. Yeah, 
So they, I have not listed these. They just needed to have a little bit of scrub up done on them. Next up is a pair of Toms. I have so many pair of Toms listed in my closet. I, it's a shoe I like and um, I think that they have cute styles and they're a nice shoe. This is a sandal, it's an eight and a half, I believe. Yep, it's this denim chambray kind of look to it within this patterned strap over the toe. They were in really good condition. The only thing about these, they had one little area of fraying on this strap. I can, I'm can i just going to trim them off. I disclosed it, but I'll trim it off as well. Otherwise, they were in really good condition. Next up is a pair of Chacos, which I will pick up pretty much every time I see them. This is a kid size 5 or an adult size, woman size 5. But they are listed as kids, and they were in super good condition. They don't have the toe strap, it's just the crossover. I've had my pair of Chacos for at least maybe 18 or 20 years. Um, they're finally starting to need to go on to greener pastures, but um, these were in super good condition. So they had these marked, I think at 10 bucks, um, they were 30% off, which I was happy to pay that for them. Even if they won't get as high of a return, they should have some good traffic into my closet. This is the last item, shoe-wise, and these I will keep for myself if they don't sell. So when I was a kid, my uncle had a pair of Stegman wool clogs that were super expensive, and then I asked for them for Christmas from my parents one year. This was in high school. Um, I owned them for a long time. I finally gave them up because that style kind of went out in my life, and now I want them back. <laughs> so this has just a few little marks on here, but they're really not very noticeable when they're not lit up by flash or my ring light. Um, this brand is um, Halflinger and they're wool clogs with a cork and rubber sole. They're slip-on. These look legitimately like my Stegmans from back in the day and they are a 40 I think. <laughs> Where did I see the size? These had a little bit of lint on them. Oh, there they are. There are 40. So um, these will be in my closet should I not sell them. However, the comps on them were good and they did not have these marked up very high. The last item in, oops, um, I already stuck all the other stuff over here, <laughs> is this belt that didn't sell yet. This is um, a bonded black leather belt with some uh, metallic silver sort of tone details. And it's got this braided or woven belt. This is Coldwater Creek. I have a belt in my own, that's already in my closet that came from my personal closet um, that is adjustable in the back. So you can wear it around a dress or a sweater or through pants. And then you just pull it or loosen it to make it tighter or looser. This is a size small, medium maybe. And yeah, small, medium. Um, and that, it's just a classic belt that you could wear. I think it would be cute around a dress. Um, I try, I don't need a belt, let's just be real. But um, if I did require a belt, I would like something like that. So next up is my, this little, it's like a thrift store that benefits a local organization. Um, most all the clothing items in the store are a dollar. Sometimes they randomly mark up things, um, but you never know. So sometimes you just go in. I like to spend some money in there because it is for a good cause. And so I'm not as worried about what I'm picking up. Sometimes I don't take as much time to look for flaws. I had a few minutes today before I had to pick up my grocery order. So um, first up is Cut Loose kind of hard to see that size medium this has sort of lag and look vibes they make a lot of linen items this is I don't know how you would call this like a puckered semi sheer lacy sort of top it's in a tan color it's a long line long sleeved and the fabric tag was cut out of this, so I was just gonna try to find the same one listed and see if it had a fabric um, tag listed. But 
this some of the pieces do better than others but for a dollar I was willing to grab that this I just quickly threw in my arms I was starting to get heavy holding all this stuff this is uh, knitted and knotted which is very hard to see the little tag on here and this is an anthropology brand size small this one needs a little bit of lint roll it does not look good in this light at all but it's a navy blue knit top it's a cotton blend um with this like lace overlay on the bottom or underlay i need some uh stuff to list this week i've been really busy listing everything i've thrifted and my death pile slash i need to deal with this pile so i am getting down to where i actually have bare racks and bare bins and bare bags and so i need to go thrifty i need to make a trip to the bins um, next week hopefully but this was sort of a good in between this is a cool piece that I got I saw it and it is a women's shirt it's a hundred percent cotton single needle tailoring made in the US J crew outfitter size small so this has to be vintage I don't even know what this is um, I'm gonna have to research a little bit more it's a denim light light wash 100 percent cotton made in the usa button front shirt and it's a women's size small um i just think it was really cool i'd never seen that tag before so I, and it because it's made in the usa and just gauging on the fact of the tag i assume it's vintage so um you know for a dollar why not Next up is this. I actually looked it up while I was there because I wasn't 100% sure if I wanted to waste my money on this one. Um, I'm willing to waste it on some other gambles, but not everything. This is a size US 6 and it is a tennis golf, no, golf skirt. And it is by the brand Oakley. Um, I never purchased their clothing, had some sunglasses in the past and it is a squirt i said that um these were actually selling around 20 dollars, 20 22 so and it has a little pleated in the back pleated detail maybe it is tennis i'll put it on the screen to confirm or deny what i'm telling you anyway it was in really good condition so i picked that up this is a lauren ralph lauren piece it's a size 2x and it is a cotton blend with a little bit of stretch in it. It's just this color block, three quarter length sleeve. I guess that's almost like an elbow sleeve. I like short sleeves that go to cover up my elbow as well, <laughs> or down to my elbow. Um, it was in really good condition, not a lot of wash wear on it. So I do okay selling Lauren Ralph Lauren stuff. Here's a brand that's the bane of my existence and I need to not pick it up. But for a dollar, what the heck? It's Matilda Jane which makes super fun, colorful clothing, um, a lot of kids clothing. You can be matchy matchy with your kid. Um, they don't make dog clothing or they may get me hooked on them, but this is a, the gray top with a pleated detail of the front split neck, half sleeve. And their tags are always super worn out or washed. So I can't tell you what this one is called. Usually they have the name or the style name on there, so I'd be able to look it up. But for a dollar, size medium. I have two others size mediums in my closet. I should just lot them all together and try to offload them. Okay, this is Ralph Lauren Sport. This is a made in Peru, uh, 50 per I'm sorry, 60% Pima cotton and 40% Lyocell. It is a V-neck, heathered gray, is it a v-neck yeah v-neck heathered gray t-shirt size medium nothing fancy um it has the logo embroidered right there but nice fabrics great color decent size this is a store where i pick up a lot of vintage items i'm a sucker <laughs> for vintage stuff this is a vintage sleeveless sweater with i don't know sort of a mixed knit pattern um on it it's got kind of the gathered waist it did not have a brand but it did have a fabric tag and it is 100 acrylic 
made in the USA. I mean, if someone didn't think this was vintage, they are wrong. But it's just really cute. And I am a sucker for those type of items. This was a new with tag item. They charged $3 for this at the thrift store. This is the White House Black Market, Market Perfect Form dress, or skirt, I'm sorry, size 14, pencil, and the color is like this periwinkle. Eh, it's not really periwinkle, but it's, well, kind of periwinkle blue. It's a little more blue in the um, camera. And this retailed for $78, was on sale for $49.99, and then the thrift store marked it at three. But it's machine washable, and it has this insert kind of seaming to it um and it's a size 14 did i mention that so i this will do really well so i was willing to spend three dollars on that and it's a great color for upcoming spring <sighs> i think they charged me ten dollars for this one my whole bill was like 24 dollars. so um this is anthropology it's new with tags that's the only reason i got it this dress <sighs> retailed for 148 was on sale for $79.95 and they charged me $10. I looked at the comps, they're not fabulous, but it is a size large. It's Moulinet Sours. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. I took two years of French and that's about all I can, I can ask you where the bathroom is or the library. Um, I'm not sure why that's always the most important thing they teach us in foreign language studies is where the library is, but maybe they don't anymore. <laughs> um, it's a lace overlay, high neck, sleeveless dress. And it's just a nice pop of color. It's got a keyhole back. And it's new with tags and lined. So um, I was willing to, it's kind of got know, like almost a mandarin collar at the top. But I'm not exactly sure what kind of collar that is. If you know, let me know. Um, I normally probably would not have picked that up, but really at a Goodwill, if I were picking that up secondhand, it would be $7.99. So for 10 bucks, new tags, why the heck not? Next up is a Talbot's size medium gray sweater with this round beaded detail on the front. It's just front only three quarter length sleeves. It is a lightweight sweater. And it is 60% cotton, 40% rayon. So for a dollar, seriously, if I get $18 or $15 for it, that's a good return. I don't have a problem listing small brands whatsoever. Last up is this Lauren Ralph Lauren, Lauren Jean Company. So I don't know if that's an older tag, 100% um, cotton, and it is a mock neck, full zip, ribbed, and it's got a little lint on there, ribbed um, knit sweater top, like cardigan, full zip cardigan, I guess, maybe you'd call that. This is super dark. It does not have any signs of wash wear. Um, and it's just really well made. So that will sell well I believe. So that is my haul from the last week or so. Um, my death pile as I said is gone so I need to replenish my stores here. Hopefully all this stuff that I just bought today will get listed um, by early next week. All my other items will be listed by the time this video comes out. If you are interested in any of these items go ahead and check out my Poshmark closet listed below. That's where I list everything primarily um, first and then I cross list over to eBay and Mercari and Depop and random other sites. Um, and additionally, if you are interested in following me on this reselling journey where I give you thrift haul videos and hopefully going to do some unboxings if I can get a fun box from ThreadUp, um, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I post future videos. Check me out on Instagram. Leave me a comment below. Give me an idea for a video. Tell me what you want to know about Middle Tennessee. There's not much to know. It's raining. Uh, anyway, uh, until the next video, we'll see you next time. Take care.